I've been dying to play this game on uh, stream though. It's it's one of those surreal experiences. It's like I'm excited to see where they're going to go with the second game for Hellblade. But since um Ninja Theory's acquisition of being at, you know being bought <laughs> by Microsoft a little hesitant but at the same time they did such an amazing job with Hellblade that you know as long as it's just like this if not better and more just like in there I'll be I'll be willing to I'll be willing to give it a chance of course I mean when I played this game the first time I was like fuck man <laughs> That, that was an awesome experience. So, here you guys go. We're playing this in one sitting. This game ranges between the hours of 8 to 10 to 12, depending on what you're wanting to do. And, um, I literally got pretty much every trophy except for one. The one trophy that you guys will most likely not get if you're just enjoying this game and not trying to platinum it in one sitting is going to be getting all the lore stones. That's literally it. There's no difficulty trophies or anything like that. I don't know if you get anything special when you beat the game on the hardest difficulty. To be honest, here's what I'm going to show you guys before we start the game. We're going to go in the options. Look at this. There's an auto difficulty in this game. So if you're struggling hardcore in the game the game will ease up on you a bit but if you're doing too well the game's gonna get more difficult same concept with Resident Evil games at least when it came to Resident Evil original and 2 uh, those games always had and always will have an auto difficulty thing you know you're you know things are a little bit too easy they're gonna pull back those resources a bit they're gonna give you less give you less ammo and stuff like that but when you're in a crisis and you only have like one or two bullets maybe the next section or maybe the next locker will have pistol ammo same thing with um send was sacrifice it's uh not much of resources but more of like how aggressive and probably how difficult the fights are going to be uh, is the boss going to beat you down a couple times before it changes <laughs> probably uh, are you going to beat the boss in one sitting probably not I don't know but yeah there's a couple there's a couple of very interesting things in this game that's probably going to throw you guys off especially if I've played it or watched it you know, this game deals with uh, a lot of things I think the main character mainly suffers from from what I know is schizophrenia so it really dives into it they've done their research it's an interpretation of what people with schizophrenia have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis so you know this is Sinwar's sacrifice interpretation of that and uh, they've they've had many consultants kind of work with it so Let's get in. Let's get into it. Man, when I first played this game, uh, most of this, most of the time you play this game, you're gonna have whispers in your headset, constantly bombarding you with suggestions, warnings, other stuff like that, and it's uh. Can be a little overbearing at times, but uh, that's the point. <laughs> that is the absolute point of Senra's sacrifice. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. 
So her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? She's there watching. Why isn't she doing coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue me. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. Coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. I'm actually kind of wondering if there's subtitles in this game. <laughs> Just in case you guys can't catch some of this stuff. There are. Alright. Turn on the subtitles for you. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them. Just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's an ally. Look. Up ahead. An ally. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. Yeah, I got subtitles up top and bottom <laughs> and everything like that. It's like I don't think I can go back. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? Well, when you... think she would get used to it by now after so many years. You have so many voices in your head. It just builds onto itself. Growing stronger. Towering over her. He might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. She's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper.
as I'm playing this on PlayStation. <laughs> what is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Then what pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering? There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. And we're in control now. Yep, these are the Look lower stones. Why can't she look in closer? Take a closer look, Senua. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Uh, it's kind of crazy how uh, so much of the media has gotten into telling tales of Nordic mythology. Hey look, there's a Bethesda game in the sky. seem too far away. Only eight hours away. <laughs> what was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. Helheim. This game has more story than Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> and it's only an eight hour tell. Helheim. And the goddess, Hela. 
Tyler holds his soul there. Hurrah, my dear beloved. Dillian. Now, it's very funny if you ever talk to people that kind of are lore buffs and um, mythology buffs. Like, with Greek mythology, um, Hades is not a person or an entity. It is a what place in which all souls reside with hell or you know hellheim hellheim is the place but there is a ruler which is hella so there's a huge difference when it comes to like norse mythology when it comes to their hells with greek mythology um, you know hades is not a good or a bad place it just depends on where you reside so it's very interesting. She can't let him rot here to But yeah, I need to read up on my North Norse mythology a little bit more. But it, I'm always very interested in it. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? There's so many people impelled on branches and stuff like that. Staffs, staves. I'm kind of looking out for more runes. So there's one ahead of me. I've never been over here. I never know if there is something over here. Nope. speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Of course. Why couldn't it be hell if we were preferred Niflheim? <laughs> Why had it to be Helheim? <laughs> down and yeah, it is a fall that would kill us She do that. She shouldn't have done that. No. Oh no. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, this mechanic. It works, and at the same time, it's very touchy. As my only 
problem with this game. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Truth? Is that you? My tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. To guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell. If I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Focus. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. the gate and the gate will open the gate is open go through the gate go through it it's dangerous follow it what's behind the gate where will it take you if it's not <laughs> work now we just opened up a whole can of worms I spent six years enslaved in hell I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen. When everyone else laughed, my people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. That's the thing, too. I think that will is kind of a hint towards where the second story is going to be going. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. And then Senwa's fury is going to be taken out on what the North, uh, yeah, Northman. <laughs> That's not a bridge. <laughs> How is this Are still standing? The same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, Ooh. waiting for you to make that little slip. Slip. You can't just wish things away. Gotta hate that. <laughs> I think the ones in blue is the ones I already have. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Yep. Tis the tell of Senra's sacrifice. We know her objective. We now know her objective. We have to go down. Ah, uh, it's li literally right there. <laughs> but it would be a very short game if we can get to our objective in like 
a matter of like minutes. <laughs> Imagine if the game was only an hour long. I'm sure speedrunners have beaten this game in like an hour or two. <laughs> Okay, I need to remember how the controls are. <laughs> Yeah, we're not supposed to defeat these guys. And I think this is where it's gonna gauge where my difficulty is gonna be. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> To say the actress that played Senua, man. <laughs> A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. 
the darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Oh, well, don't scratch it. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. So that was an ingenious lie in the game. Like, it made people absolutely on edge. Like, wait, I could lose all my progress if I die enough times? Oh no. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. I wonder if that's a uh, room I don't know I have that one. Or it's No, I have this one. She needs to challenge the, the Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born and was named Emir. Emir. The ice continued to drip. And the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. You shouldn't expect anything from mythology. And you heard of Zeus? He impregnated more women in animal form than anything. <laughs> the guy was a slut. <laughs> So I'm doing quite the opposite. Uh, I think my first playthrough of this game, I did uh, Sut. So, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> For a 9 inch tree. Exactly. I wanted to go off with a bang for a send-off. Maybe later we'll play some more uh, Stardew, but... I felt more inclined to play this game than Stardew. <laughs> Ymir was a frost giant. A being of darkness. 
and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. <laughs> and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The Old Father. Ah, Odin. And he became a greedy son of a bitch, too. Very protective of his treasures and findings. His knowledge kept it all to himself. Greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> God of War kind of slightly dives into that. <laughs> Odin's a cunning son of a gun, too, man. Or son of a giant, <laughs> in this case. We got wind chimes, baby. This is like a triple A game, but with double A uh, funding. <laughs> uh, indie funding, actually. Indie funding. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. All right. There's something that we need to solve. Again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Was there a door at all? Do we know if there was a door? Was it just us playing tricks on ourselves? the door There's gotta be some heavy fucking doors though like the primal fear it's like if you look into a void and you see something staring back at you <laughs> it's like oh no why did I look the fear the primal fear is is it dangerous that's our fear <laughs> will it kill us Ah! <laughs> 
the door find that symbol Val Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens align the ravens to break his magic seal uh. show me what you have seen truth Look how much it's I don't think we're gonna see it from this angle are we Also, oh yeah, one second. Ah, that wasn't there before. <laughs> God, I love that mechanic. <laughs> it's such a fucking good mechanic. All it is is just scripting the... Oh, actually, I really don't know how they actually do that. <laughs> Break the seal. Really cool. Break the ravens with the mark of Valraven. I know the gate, the illusion gate, is uh, it's like an active trigger. To once they pass a certain threshold, it changes the level. But when they go across that threshold again, it changes the level. It reverts it back. It's all in the coding, I guess. And it's no longer there. See, that's some really cool shit in this game. <laughs> Enjoying a dark story early in the morning. <laughs> Looks the same, but feels different. An imposter world. Where the forest itself. I'm trying to it's remember. Watching. I think this team was only like no more than twenty people, right? It was a very small team that made this game. locked Maybe this isn't active yet.
I think we need to reach the door first. And I'll activate what we need to do. Another gate. Another gate. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. You have to open it. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. Don't open it. You can do it. Don't touch it. Stay back. Come on. To break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Which ravens? Where are they? Can't you see them? Oh, see the point where I need to go. See, now that's activated. Should be where I'm trying to remember if I need to go this path. There we go. This is what has changed. This is what I need to do. This bridge. Ah, there he is. Is she lost? It's pointing in that direction. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh. The last winter before the tragedy. She journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become gout in search of penance. Others, like cinema, the purge curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. Doors now unlocked. I think I have to unlock it. And go through that gate again. There's another one. through the gate again. Is there anything up there? I 
I think I know what I need to do. There we go. Sort of uh, change some things. So I know I need to get up there somehow. Solution. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can get out. Must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Which tree? Bell Raven. Tricking her. Bell Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. We have unlocked the door. This looks like a combat area.
I guess my difficulty has been up to because getting hit once put me in the danger zone. <laughs> See, the better and better you do in this game, the harder it's going to get. Which is smart. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Damn. Like, I'm kinda hoping more games have adaptive difficulty. I know it's probably difficult to make adaptive dif difficulty, but I think more games would benefit if game more games had it. The game evolves over time, giving you a new and a different experience every time you play it by difficulty standards. So if you're truly having a difficult time playing a game, it'll slowly, slowly but surely start to ease up on you. So technically right now, I think this has been switched to hard. <laughs> do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? I do. The home? Loved ones. I actually do. <laughs> to head deep into the wilds. Not in the wilds. <laughs> Perhaps never to return. So no one does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. The exile makes sense when you realize. That you were never really home in the first place. That's lore right there. Actually, that's one I have I haven't found. Cool. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So, he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Yep. 